and Brad Keller will get the start and he wants to be like you said HUD hitting those corners. That's right. He's going to go after these guys. He's got good velocity. He can add and subtract. He's going to average about 94 on the fastball. Well, we've seen him as high as 98. Sam fighting a bit of a slump hitless in his last 11 at bats and swing and a miss and down he goes. There's a swing and a ground ball right side grabbed by the first baseman Prada one he has to the pitcher and he just does get to the bag in time he sort of jogged over there but they get the out three one cut Crawford three and three three eighty six ERA he's gone six innings in three of his last four starts he's been the best guy out there lately and Cutter Crawford's pitch is swung on driven high to center field and not all that deep in front of the track backpedaling is Duran to make the catch. Payoff pitch and he missed with that ball four. So look out for his running talent. Runner goes. Here's the throw by McGuire and the tag got him. Arroyo got the tag down. But they're tagging towards the legs and the feet now. Because of the replays, it's been proven to show that you tag down there and get the runner out. Royals and Red Sox no score, bottom of the third inning. And the Royals will send the lower third to the plate. Michael Massey, Nate Eaton, and Kyle Isbell. There's a shot to center field and deep, and Duran is not going to reach this one. And there is Michael Massey with his first extra base hit as a big leaguer. The Royals have runners at the corners. Rafi alone holding Massey at third, and now they going to call a balk on Cutter Crawford. That will score the run. Cutter awkwardly threw to third wide. Rafi had to lunge over and make the catch. Alex Cora is coming out to argue. Crawford maybe flinched to first and then threw to third. They had. See, and you're not allowed to do that anymore. It used to be you. Bizarre. So the first run of the game scores on a balk. Now Melendez can get another one in after the gift. He does by banging one to center field. Coming around to score is Kyle Isbell and the Royals take a 2 nothing lead. Got the spinner right in the middle. Little cement mixer, that little cutter didn't cut. Enough. Right in the middle. Good, short, compact swing. And you wonder if that balk was still in his mind because he had thrown so many cutters with great movement and that one, as you said, HUD, was very flat. So second and third one out now. The batter will be Melendez. Let's see if he can come through. Melendez oh, goes into the first pitch my. and launches it high in the air. Deep to right center. A way back. And that ball is gone. 106 miles an hour off the bat. Man, can that guy get into a baseball and hit it a long way. Boy, what a pretty swing, and it's eye popping, guys, what we're seeing this weekend from MJ Melendez. 13th on the season. Offense needs to get it going. Rafael Devers to lead it off for the Red Sox in the sixth inning. 5 0 Kansas City. High, deep drive. That one might go. That's back there, way back there, sailing, and it is gone. Home run. It is carrying today. You get it airborne, and Rafi can do that. That is number 24. And the Red Sox are on the board in the sixth inning with a solo shot. That's two great swings in a row. Last time he killed one to center, the Taylor track down. You hang one like that to Devers, you're going to pay a price, and they did. Two down for the leadoff hitter, Tommy Pham. High fly Whoa. ball left field deep. His spell back, turning around, and she is gone. Wow. And a long way out of here. He got all of that one. <laughs> Tommy Pham with number 12 and the Red Sox are back in the game. 437 feet. Tommy found exactly what he wanted and we got a ball game in KC. Royals five Red Sox three. It was five nothing Royals just two innings ago. Eaton skies it to center. Duran fighting that son. No. And loses the baseball. Go, keep going. And Eaton's not stopping. Love that. That's why you hustle every moment on the field. Way to go, Nate Eaton. It just continues to happen for Jaron Duran in center field. He has the shades on. He has eye black. But for the third time, he drops one in the sun, and it puts a runner at third with nobody out. 
And Nate Eaton could have been running 50 or 60 percent effort. And if he ended up at second base, we all would have been happy with that on a sun lost ball. But he was running hard. Back come the Royals with a runner at third and nobody out. And here's Kyle Isbell. Isbell does his job. Maybe more. Yes, indeed, Kyle. In comes Eden. Isbell will trade spots with a triple. Jaron Duran. Oh, he's had better games, and it's a tough one today. Look at him. He's not happy. He's John with a fan up there. You know, he's let the game get to him. But Eaton, he'll take the triple, and so will Isbell. And he just went off the end of his glove. Lendez already with a career-high four RBIs with an RBI single and a three-run home run. Center field. That's deep enough. Duran with the diving catch, even though he struggled in his angle to get there, but he does the job with the sack fly. Five RBIs for Melendez. How about that? First career five RBI game. An incredible afternoon for Melendez, who is not missing today. Catch is made by Duran. Two out. You know, baseball is, is really strange at times. But one thing is if you're having a rough day defensively, that ball will continue to find you. You're continuing to work that young kid. And he's walked the bases loaded. So Michael Massey, another rookie, coming up. And he is, and gets a base hit to left field. In comes one, in comes two, and the Royals have broken it open with a 9-3 lead over Boston. First two RBIs in his career. And just like that, the three walks have turned into two runs. Now Isbell comes up. Hit well. Right field, over the head. This will score at least two. And they will hold the runner at third base, a double for Kyle Isbell, and a three RBI game. The Royals just continuing to pedal down against the Red Sox. Here's Melendez, who's already knocked in five. Breaking ball is hit well out into deep right center field. The wind pushing it toward the fence, but Duran is there to make the catch. But Melendez is going to pick up another RBI. The sixth RBI for MJ Melendez. 12 3. Here is Witt. Now Bobby Witt Jr. joins the parade as he knocks one into right field. So he is one for four. The Royals with two in the seventh and six so far in the eighth. Royals have a 13 to 3 lead. Here is Duran. First and third, and a little ground ball to second baseman. As he will take a look, he'll go to first as a run comes in. Hosmer scores. So he does get an RBI. It's 13 to 4. And the top of the order and Tommy Pham. It's no milk money. Ground ball up the middle for a base hit. Coming around third, McGuire. And he's going to score. Red Sox add another run, a couple here in the ninth inning. 13 to 5. Center field. With an over the shoulder terrific catch to end it. The Red Sox come up with a couple, but it's all Royals, especially late 13 to 5, the final.